Um insight bem central no seu livro sobre o câncer é uma ideia que, na verdade, é uma ideia muito antiga, uma ideia que já está, inclusive, é, na medicina tradicional da Índia, por exemplo. É, é a ideia de que a saúde está no equilíbrio, é, de que não está necessariamente numa relação simples de causa e consequência. É, o, o, a ideia de que o câncer é resultado de um, de um desequilíbrio e que a saúde estaria no equilíbrio. Né? A gente está vivendo agora uma grande pandemia. Eu, eu queria saber se você enxerga uma lição parecida nessa pandemia. Essa pandemia também é um sinal de desequilíbrio nos sistemas humanos, no, no seu modo de ver? Uh, well, it depends on what you mean by imbalance, uh, but I would say that there are two, the pandemic has revealed two uh, great vulnerabilities or two great weaknesses. Um, and I will talk about them separately because they're really quite separate things. Number one is that it's revealed the idea that in general, the world's capacity to handle pandemics is, is much poorer than we had anticipated. Um, the, during many phases of this pandemic, um, the important institutions such as the World Health Organization and the, uh, in America, the Center for Diseases Control had the opportunity to contain the pandemic. Uh, in fact, uh, right from the beginning, right from the very first day, uh, there was an imbalance and you could call it a political imbalance or a medical imbalance between the uh, between the uh, severity of this virus and our public health response to it. Um, the Wuhan uh, authorities uh, should have uh, been more, should have had more, higher degree of alacrity instead of trying to suppress the information uh, they should have uh, uh, launched their, uh, uh, they should have been more open about the severity uh, of what happened. They still have not been actually open. We still don't know exactly how the pandemic originated and how it spread. And there has been resistance. There's been a constant level of resistance um, to find out. Um, so, so, that, so right from the beginning, uh, all the way to the WHO and to the CDC, uh, I would say a series of mistakes were made, which should not have been made, and uh, our capacity uh, overall, globally, um, uh, to fight pandemics has been uh, revealed as quite weak. And this, you might call, is a is an imbalance, a political imbalance, a political uh, a, a lack of uh, uh, appropriate uh, measures to uh, control a pandemic that was in its in its beginning. In fact, uh, had this pandemic been appropriately controlled uh, at the very beginning, we would not have been seeing the terrifying consequences across the world, and it was not. Um, the second is that there is, as I just referred to you, um, there is the, the virus, this particular virus um, also causes, we now know, a very peculiar imbalance in the immune response to it. Um, and that peculiar imbalance we have begun to understand, uh, but it's also highlighted the idea that although we are nearly looking at a century or nearly a hundred years of research in immunology, we still don't understand fundamental aspects of viral immunology and vaccine development um, in, in a way that we really should. Uh, you know, a hundred years or 150 years since we have understood the immune system, we do not understand some fundamental features of it. Um, I'll give you some examples. One example I just gave you is that for reasons that we don't really understand, um, there is a, this virus causes a peculiar immune dysfunction. Um, in fact, an immune dysfunction that has been seen really before in patients uh, who have been treated with uh, uh, a particular kinds of uh, cancer therapies that involve um, uh, bone marrow transplantation, for instance, or T cell transplantation. Uh, the virus, for some reason, this uh, release of, uh, of these uh, factors, these in inflammatory inflammation, is very reminiscent of um, uh, a, a similar situation that we've seen in, 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 ex in experimental treatments for cancer. Uh, involving T cells. Um, this response is uh, was unexpected. 
Um, we have just begun to learn about it, and it reminds us that, our, that there are fundamental features of immunology and vaccine development that we still don't know so far. And I'm, I'm happy to discuss this, uh, these uh, unknowns uh, in greater detail as we move along.